Napoleon in Spain, color plates, scenarios, two campaigns, the latest in the Series 3 campaign guides for the ESR Napoleonic Miniatures rules. Let's get started. How you doing, folks? Welcome back to the GM Zal Cove. Got a little flip-through review of To Assure My Dynasty by the Wargaming Company, the Napoleonic Campaign in Spain in 1808. This is a campaign supplement, Series 3 campaign supplement for the ESR rules, again, put out by the Wargaming Company. Uh, it's basically two books in one, really. You've got a uniform section which covers all the various units that took part in this particular campaign. It's all covered here in the uniform guide. The first part of the book, of course, is the meat. That is the scenarios, the historical background, the maps and orders of battle of this campaign. You're getting 13 historical scenarios, over 180 pages in all, nearly 2,000 depictions of soldiers in the uniform section. There's a lot in this supplement, a lot in this indeed. And folks, if you're a Napoleonic War Gamer, I highly recommend you check this out. There's a lot to it. Even if you don't play ESR, any Grand Tactical set of rules would be appropriate and uh, usable with this supplement. But first, Let's crack this open, folks. Let's get started. And here we are to assure my dynasty, 1808, Spain. Uh, hardbound book, high quality. Of course, you got the maps on the back, as well as this beautiful picture on the front and on the inside cover, too, as well, showing the political layout of 1808 in Europe. And it's got a little listing of the various belligerents. Of course, here's the all-important contents. Now, I should say, there's 184 pages in all in this, as we'll see right there. 184. Uh, there's actually two separate books, really. You've got the Uniform Guide, which is this whole section here, Dressing for War, I should say. And the main component of this book is this part here, which is all about the battles of this time period. Of course, the contents on the reverse is the contents of the uniform guides. You got the French, Spanish, British, all broken up and conveniently organized. Beautiful maps, full color. And I should point out that all the maps here are very crisp, high color. Uh, here's your description of the overview of the situation, the start of the campaign. So you do get a little brief history as to what's going on in this campaign. And of course, there's preceding the scenarios themselves. Uh, there's basically two phases to the campaign. Uh, phase one is the build-up, and then later we have phase two, which brings us to the conclusion of the era, 1808, and it describes what's going on. You get a nice description here of the symbols or icons used throughout the book to distinguish units and special units, forces, armies, and formations. Basically, your divisions and corps and that kind of thing. And uh, a layout, a description of how the orders of battle for each scenario are laid out for units. All their stats for ESR, of course, are detailed. Once you've got all that, you're ready to get into the scenarios starting off with the uprising or phase one and each scenario is made up of three sections you've got a referee's handout which includes an overall map dispositions and so on and a description and then each player each side gets one of these in this case the french for this particular battle they get a map as well as initial placement and victory conditions uh, and of course an order of battle as you can see here this is the general format to the orders of battle as they would be organized into their divisions and corps and so on and so forth and all the stats for esr for each of those battalions and regiments and so on and of course here's the opposition which is the spanish forces same kind of thing uh, only the descriptions are from the perspective of that particular side in this case the french here's a close-up it shows uh, the deployment zones of forces location of victory points uh, objectives basically that the forces are fighting for as well as approach points 
for troops that are approaching the battlefield, either as reinforcements or starting their turn coming onto the map. And of course, look at these maps. They are beautiful. You've got all the elevations, rivers. Uh, there is a map key earlier in the section before the scenarios begins that defines all these symbols and icons on the maps. So it's easy to figure, figure them out, really. Beautiful artwork. Of course, here's another example of an order of battle. The cool thing about this, the scenarios themselves, they're clear, well-organized, and they range from small to large battles. Uh, and also the rules categorize them if they're good for beginners or if they're more suited for experts at the period or at the rules of ESR. Look at these beautiful maps. And this, of course, is converted to an actual game map there on the left. Now we get to the part two of this book, which is really interesting for me and useful, which is dressing for war. This is all the uniform information you would want for all the units involved in this particular uh, series of battles, campaign of 1808. You got the French. In each section, there's three of them, one for the French, the British, and the Spanish. And they usually start off with a few pages describing all the units. You got lots of footnotes there. Uh, all the troop types that are in there, and then it goes into the actual color plates. And there's nearly 2,000 of these individual plates here, and they are detailed. You get everything from musicians, to drummers, officers, horse furniture, footwear, headwear, everything is covered. Great detail. Look at these Legere units. Got the pioneers in there, officers. It's great stuff if you're looking for uniform information for the units in this particular campaign. Of course, the section on the French is quite extensive. There's a lot of French units. Let me get into the British section. Starts off the same way. And we go right into the plates. And we look at the 43rd. Again, you got the musicians, the officers. Very crisp, high color pictures. It's easy to distinguish. And finally, we go into the Spanish forces. Brief description about the uniforms. Uh, and then here we go, going right back into the plates, the musicians, the drummers, officers, the bike horns. We got some white coats. So if you need information on the look of these units that took part in the 1808 campaign, here you go. Look no further. It's a one-stop guide to the campaign. And there we go. There we have it. To assure my dynasty, 1808 campaign in Spain. Fantastic product. I mean, all those color plates, they're just amazing how much detail you have in there and if you need to know what a certain unit looks like there's your guide all in one product really happy with this and i, I find the painting section most useful for myself because i'm always researching the uniforms uh, however the scenarios are quite interesting again they range in difficulty or complexity from beginner to expert uh, which is nice to know uh, you can have multiple player games in these scenarios uh, but they are set up so that there's basically two sides and a referee. Referee starts off with a, with a description of the particular battle, starting locations. He gets his own map. He basically knows everything. Also, each side gets their own similar sheet, and it gives them information that their side would have at the start of the battle. Of course, the referee knows all the stuff that's actually going on. So it is quite useful. Uh, another thing that is interesting about this book is that it can be used with many different sets of rules, including previous editions of ESR, and it talks about that in the actual book. You can find a section on that. And there is optional rules for uh, doing night maneuvers, and when you have a battle or a scenario that takes place over more than one day, there is optional rules to allow the sides or the players to do things during the night. I really like this book. It's going to be on my shelf. I'm going to make use of it. I am a big fan of Napoleonics. I do highly recommend this. If you have an interest in the Napoleonic Wars, particularly in Spain, 
uh, you might want to take a look at this, uh, even if it's just for the plates alone, the uniform guide. Uh, but the scenarios, they're fantastic. And I think a lot of players will find this book useful if you're into the Napoleonic era, particularly in Spain. So check it out, folks. I love the format with the very crisp colored pictures and the, the hardcover production. Fantastic book, if I do say so myself. Well, that about covers it. My look at To Assure My Dynasty, the 1808 campaign in Spain by the Wargaming Company. Again, a fantastic book. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Give me some feedback. Do you play ESR? Are you into Napoleonic Wargaming? Let me know. Like, share, consider subscribing, and hit that notification bell so you know when I got my videos coming out. Uh, and as always, if you want to support the channel, consider that as well. It always helps and is appreciated. It keeps things going here at the GM's Alcove. Till next time, folks. You guys hang in there. It's only going to get better.